All right, let's see what we got. We have a new bead spinner to try and we're gonna put it to the test. Okay, so we got set a new bead spinner. We're gonna try it out. And guys, if this bead spinner does what it's supposed to do, this one might be my new favorite. Right off the bat, it looks just like any other bead spinner. It comes with string and a cord so you can power it. And it also comes with two needle hooks. All right, so here's the bead spinner. We're gonna pull off that little top. I think that top is for pouring out beads when you have it filled up. It makes it so much easier. We have another little bowl and then we have where you put the beads. This looks like, you know, you could plug it into a power source, but the part that might be my favorite is it's battery powered. I did feel like I was gonna break a nail trying to get that off. I struggled, but we got some battery. It doesn't include batteries, but we had some laying around. Electric bead spinners are seriously so awesome, but the downfall is you have to be attached to a wall. So this is so nice. And we turned it on and it worked. You have different directions. You can control the speed, but I am so excited. Let's test out the needles that it comes with. I'm gonna pull those out. It comes attached with the cute little tag. And then it comes with those accessories that we talked about already. We're gonna pop those aside. It does come with actually two things of string. It comes with a um, kind of plasticky string and then it comes with like almost thread. But I'm gonna use my favorite string. We're gonna get some ready and then it's time to put in our colors. I picked kind of three random colors. I was feeling more of a neon vibe. I'm gonna cut those. We have green, pink, and yellow. I'm gonna give it a quick little mix with my finger and we're gonna turn it on. So it has, again, two different rotations. I like it turning cl it clockwise, or actually counterclockwise, I guess. Next, we have our speeds. Again, guys, use higher speeds if you don't have a ton of beads in. Use a lower speed if you have a bunch of beads in. We're gonna keep it about medium pace because we got a medium amount of beads in. We're gonna thread the eye of the needle and I struggled a little bit. I shouldn't have because the loop is seriously so big. All right, now it's time to test So We're gonna put our hook in. It's catching beads pretty quick. I had it way too fast, so I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Guys, this thing has power. It was a little aggressive. The hook was wobbling around. So I had to slide my finger up the hook to stable it a little more. That's also a trick. If your needle is seriously flopping all over the place, just slide your hand up a little more, making it more steady. After we got a decent amount on, I'm going to slide those beads down the hook and then I'm going <laughs> to get more beads again. I need to take my own advice because that hook was a little wobbly. Next, we're going to slide the beads down again and we're going to measure it out. I'm feeling like it's pretty long, so we're going to take it off the hook, turn off the bead spinner, and we're going to make it a little cute. We're going to add some charms. After I added the charms, I'm going to measure it out. I always make my bracelets six and a half inches. So this one was definitely longer than that. We're just going to put the extra in the bead spinner. Then we're going to tie it. I do a single knot. Then I do a surgeon's knot. And we're going to cut it after that. And it is looking cute. It is giving cute. It is giving easy to make, guys. This seriously might be my new favorite bead spinner. I'm going to put the link for this down in my bio it is so convenient i love the electric one because it's less work but it's a hassle when it's attached to the wall but if you don't have batteries you can attach it to the wall which i love you get choices but the hook was a little too wobbly for me i might stick to my own thanks for watching don't forget to like and sub bye